So this match review comes to us from Ashy, who has 661 uh, hours in Dead by Daylight. So not quite at that point where you have all your macro and micro fundamentals down, which would be around 1k hours. So there might be some stuff you don't uh, have down pat, and that's totally fine. Uh, you are playing Knight, which, like we said in the last match review, we just did a Knight match review. Kind of a strong B tier character, especially after his recent changes. Um, you are playing Undisturbed Ward, though, which is uh, one of the worst killer maps in the game, up there with Batam, Area of Crows. Disturbed Ward has the Cubby Holes, which are very, very detrimental to macro pressure, as well as an immensely strong main building, immensely strong building for bounce landing as well. Um, it's just, it's just a very icky map. Uh, so that's definitely, definitely working against you. Let's take a look at your add scene perks. Okay, so looking at your add-ons, these are good. You got Call to Arms and Map of the Realm. Map of the Realm is still great. Dried Horse Meat, etc. Kind of like the main ones you're looking at there. Uh, your build is... I, it's sort of an Obsession-esque... Obsession Switch build. But like, there's also like no real benefit to like i can see this as like a rancor roulette build but like there's no rancor here so you're just kind of like switching the obsession just cuz like usually when there's obsession roulette there's like a, a like a payoff like rancor where like okay well the person who, in, who it ends up on dies or something like that but like you don't have like a perk that kind of like stitches it together that makes switching the obsession matter so yeah, you can do like Friends to the End, Nemesis, um, Build Revolves around Friends to the End. I, I understand, but like, what does Friends to the End, Friends to the End do that helps enough to revolve an entire build around it? Right? It doesn't do much. Okay, that's what I'm getting at here. <laughs> like, I understand that's what they're doing, but like, why is my question? <laughs> Yeah, if like if it's like a challenge, like I can see you just like I don't care. But like in terms of like me match review, me trying to tell you how to improve your game, I would not do that. Yeah. So if you want to do, I, obviously, we've had a match review where I've talked about obsession roulette. Obsession roulette is already extremely risky. If even if you're trying to do like rancor shenanigans or something like that, um, but much less just doing rancor roulette or not rancor roulette, obsession roulette without something to pay off. Yeah, so I, I, it's one of those things. It's like, I feel like bad giving the advice of just like, just throw out your whole build. But yeah, just throw out your whole build. Because like the point of switching obsession, like even if you're going for the argument of like, okay, well, I'm getting exposed on people. Um, like you're also knight. So most of, not most, but a lot of your damage states will be through M2s, not m one. So it's like, even in that regard, like you're not really playing the right character to get out of that so it's not really a build that works on this character i have new respect for it it's just a goofy add-on goofy and can get value does not mean consistent value that also doesn't surprise me that creeps would do that that sounds very creeps coded what do you mean it's fine i can hear him in my head what do you mean it's fine it's okay it's a perfect add-on <laughs> I'm oblivious, but why does that... Oblivious is not even that crazy of a status effect. A nemesis works off of being stunned. Isn't, like, the whole play style of Knight is to be, like, palette, carnifex, palette, carnifex, palette, carnifex. Why are you relying on being stunned as a character that can ignore stuns? Why? Ghost of Tushima? I heard that game's really, really good. Never played it, though. <laughs> Good job, Mr. President. That was cute. You're essentially playing a build that works, but not really beneficial. Yeah, like we talked about the last, that's a good point. Like we talked about last of... Uh, actually, there are a cool thing to do here is if you know they're working on there like right here right next to you something i see pixie do a lot is they'll actually use one of the quote-unquote wrong guards to kick the gen because what that does is it locks them in animation for longer so they can't just go back and, and like get right back on it because the guard's going to take a while to kick it and then you can just go down the guy in the in, in the interim 
like a, a funny little thing you can do with a knight that's a little unorthodox. See, like, you can still pincer as this character. It's totally possible. It's just a little bit more difficult than it used to be. My pallets, too? Very true. Very true. That was also true. Hopefully she runs back into that. No! That's a cheeky way to get around that. <laughs> Most characters you do that with, where you, like, take with, like, an alternative form, it still applies to you. But I guess with Carnifex, it just doesn't. That's funny. Most of the time, they don't let you do that. I bet she is molting right now. I bet she is not happy. Like, dude, what? Come on. I mean, freeze hits or uh, free hit. You take this. Hang you. Yeah, we're going over there. And you are keeping on her. Was that just like the longest mind game in the world? Just for you to go all the way around? You're not the first person to do that, actually. It's the funniest thing in the world. And that only happens every once in a while in the match reviews. For some reason, some people try to mind game the entirety of Disturbed War, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's really weird. Don't do that. That's a waste of time. You're not the first or and probably not the last person to do that, but I don't know why people think they can mind game that whole entire long wall there. I don't know. You hear a gen being worked on to your right, but you don't even check it. No, so certain I can get it? No, that's smart. No, that's like actually smart. That's why um Reaper was trying to get me back into Fortnite today. And they're like, come on, uh, you know, Zeno's in the store. So buy Zeno, and I'm like, how much is it? He's like, oh yeah, like twelve, fifteen dollars. I'm like, no. For a game I barely play, no. I'll play Fortnite with you. I'll redownload. I'll spend all my money on skin over game I barely play. You kidding me? Who'd you main before Zeno? Billy. Specifically overheat Billy. Billy didn't get buffed until after I was already meaning Zeno. I was one of the struggling Billy means. <laughs> Basically, I get really like attached to characters where there's just like cool flips and texts and stuff that you can do. I just think it's neat. I, I'm so glad those are kill switch for that reason. I used to do that with Siege Shadow. The Siege's Battle Pass. I'd buy it and never finish it. I'm so glad I stopped doing that. I think literally... Like, you're having some, like, pretty rough, um, like, you're not having the worst chases in the world, but the fact that you just have, like, essentially no perks, <laughs> like, you have Grim for, like, half a second. I don't know, man. Like, it's almost like, like, occasional info off of friends, and then an occasional slight... Slow down from Grim. It's just like you're just. It's hard. Don't vault to you all like that. There's no reason to. Unless you have some sort of wall park that makes it go really fast. 
Well, it's like they're chasing. Like, it's because they're committing to chases is why. Like, they are doing something, even if it's not up. You think that that's on the other side? I know what palette you thought you were mind gaming. That's on the other side. Now you're in a situation where it's just kind of like their game to throw. I think you're panicking a bit because of the uh, state of the game. I've noticed that like you're not like really... I think it's because you're trying to get Nemesis to go off with all your heart and soul, but you really should be using Carnifex to just eat through these pallets and get the downs. That is one of the strongest things about Knight. <clears throat> is if somebody pops a pallet in your face, you chop through it super quick and just bulldoze through and down them, but I think you're afraid to do that because you're so hell-bent on getting Nemesis value and it's actively hurting you. Like, I'm like really focusing on like, what can they do better? How can they improve? And then you're like, feet charms! There's feet! <laughs> Make him step on a trail so I can cage them. At this point, it's kind of a gone game. It's kind of their game to throw. I like how his med kit shoved into his fucking skull. Did you see that? <laughs> when you heard, he like he 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 he, he said, <laughs> "What the heck?" He says, <laughs> "That's funny." My dog guy like that, the one that passed away recently, because he was just so old he couldn't hold his bladder. He's eating his lunch. <laughs> He lived at 13. He lived a long time. Yeah, you're not going to make that. Yeah. I know you want to hook him farther away because it's a smart thing, but you kind of really can't afford to. They're young and annoying. Would you want one? No, I have a cat. Unless they get along with cats, that would be awful for good little wool ham. <laughs> I don't know where he is, actually. Yeah. All right, thank you for the raid again, though. Hope everything goes well, Oki. Appreciate you, Sapoet. Appreciate you. All right. So, <clears throat> in terms of your main takeaways, um, this is really funny. But like, main takeaways, like literally, your your build not great. So, running a not great build that also doesn't synergize at all with your character is like that. that it's just a recipe for disaster. Um, so I would I would definitely swap out your perks for like Yeah, it's literally like you were essentially playing like with almost like no perks. Because besides just a tiny bit of aura reading here and there, like that's that and, and a very tiny bit of slowdown with Grim Embrace, like that's kinda it. Like you just kinda didn't kinda didn't have anything really going for you. Because, like, so much of DBD is like, okay, well, I get a hook, and that transfers into, like, pop eruption, or into a pain res, or I get a down into a hook, and it's, like, surge pain res, or, like, um, it doesn't even have to be slow down, too. You could have had, um, like I was mentioning, if you're trying to do, like, obsession switching that matters, Rancor on that. Rancor is very inconsistent, of course, but I've covered in a different video, but, like, at least there would be a point to this build. There's not really a point to this build. Your point to the build is, I'm switching obsessions, and somebody asks you, well, why are you doing that? And you go, I don't know, but I'm sure good at switching obsessions now, aren't I? <laughs> like, like, why are you doing that, though? I don't know, but I can do it really well. 
<laughs> like there's like no point to what you're doing um like we mentioned it might be good in the sense that like you know exposed a lot with friends till the end but like also you're a character that gets a lot of damage through m2 so even that's not the case um so i would definitely not use this build at least definitely not on this character um because i think it really really hurt you because the little pressure you could get didn't really transfer into anything meaningful for you whatsoever um your second takeaway is you tried to go for some like really ambitious long mind games a little too much like especially when you tried to like go for that really long mind game all the way around the disturb ward main building itself like thankful thankfully your assassin was charging down that sable and ended up getting her but otherwise that i don't know why you did that <laughs> like you if if somehow she was able to get enough distance away from him you would just suddenly be on the other side of one of the strongest main buildings in the game very far away from the person you were trying to down so like if you if you didn't get lucky there you were host and that wasn't the only time in the match you had done that where you tried to take a really long route around trying to like cut somebody off um i think maybe your brain's like okay well i'm night night now has that problem that if you get too close the timer on the hunt goes down but that doesn't mean like go to like that doesn't mean chase from like two or three tiles away that's not what that means it just means be a little bit more careful but you should definitely still be actively be on and chasing and pressuring the survivor while the card is on them so i would not go that far uh into doing that you're very good oh ne never mind brain blast jimmy neutron use karn to break pallets i don't know if it was because of nemesis i don't know if it was because of nemesis you really wanted the nemesis part to go off by getting stunned a, bu a, a bunch but like homie card effects break shredding a pallet how I many you get the down was it's like like one of the biggest bread and butter ways to get hits as this character and i think it's because you wanted nemesis value you wanted to get stunned that you weren't really doing that that much do that they drop pallet in your face then you hit him that's it like you weren't doing that stop stop it get some help stop it stop it use current effects to break through pallets that is also saying to use cards to you know waste time which is also true but i'm gonna i'm gonna get on i'm gonna get on your i'm gonna grill you about not using card effects to have quick chases because that that was one thing i was like but like i guess because you wanted to get stunned for your perk value um you didn't end up doing that but that was that was a lot of pressure a lot of pressure you left on the table